it. It's the Diamond from Diamond Shine. So, guys, I'm excited to see you today. Today in the studio, we're going to make some beetroot body butter. Now, beetroot does have some amazing um, benefits, and it makes a beautiful body butter. So, I'm going to teach you guys how to make it. Also, I'm going to link in the description box the benefit of beetroot so you guys can have that as well this entire recipe will be found on my patreon guys if you click on the link in the description box it'll take you to the re uh, patreon is full of recipes for candle making and skincare all right so um let's go ahead and get right into it to use the beetroot powder inside of the body butter mix um it really don't do well that way you know you can try it but it's just really tough trying to get all of those clumps out and you know making it to where it's always clump free and you don't see little specks of beetroot powder inside of your body butter so what we did was this is vegetable glycerin and beetroot you can mix these two together um you do need to have like a certain amount versus like uh you probably need more vegetable glycerin than beetroot if you guys need the exact recipe that i use that is inside of the patreon as well but as you can see when you make it it get really really thick like a gel it definitely get really thick so i'm excited to use it i'm excited to turn it into a butter we're going to go ahead and get right into it this body butter that we will be making today it is going to be a little thick i want it to be thick because we're going to be shipping this in the summertime, so I really don't want um, any melt issues. So this body butter will be really good to ship. Okay, so I'm giving everything a hot water bath. I use shea butter, stearic acid, emulsifying wax, sunflower oil, jojoba oil, and a few other ingredients, which I will list inside of the Patreon. I'm gonna wait to the last minute to put my glycerin in because I don't want my color of my glycerin to mix with the water. Like usually you mix the glycerin and the water together. Today, I'm just gonna put the glycerin into the butter and do it a little bit different. I'm gonna go ahead and warm your water up as well so both of them can be about the same temperature. Okay guys, so as you can see, we have everything fully melted. Um, inside of the beaker. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is, we're just gonna warm up our water a little bit. Okay, so now you wanna go ahead and just mix both together. Okay, so now you can go ahead and add your glycerin. Now, as you can see, when you added your glycerin, it gave you like a nice little strawberry milk look. And that's the way you want it to be. You don't see any specks of beetroot powder or anything like that inside of this mix. So that's a good thing. And that's the way you want it to be. Guys, as you can see, um, it's starting to thicken up as it cooled down. I put my fragrance in here and I put my preservative in here as well. Always make sure you use preservative for anything that involves water. Okay, so as it cooled down, as you can see, it's thickening up. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and put this into a jar as it gets a little bit thicker. I really want you guys to see um, the final consistency, so I'm not too much in a rush to put it in a jar because I really did not wanna make a thin, watery, lotion-style um, emulsified body butter today. So I wanted you guys to see that. So guys, as you can see, um, this is about 80, 87 degrees. So it's still a little bit warm. So it does get a little bit thicker than this. So if you allow it to get a little bit thicker, you can pipe it into a jar. So that's the good news about this butter. 